I've heard this a lot of times that you know after I'm done with my performance you know the people come and keep telling me that uh, you were seeming to have a really great time you know irrespective of whatever is happening in the dance floor or what people are doing around you or anything you're just right there enjoying yourself jumping around well that's because I love the genre of music which I play I love bollywood music I love remixing it and I love playing it for the people around the world so it's very very important over here that any dj once you take up djing you remember that you've heard the music listen to different genres and identified which genre you like the most broadly speaking there are a lot of genres starting from house bollywood dubstep breakbeat drum and bass hip hop trance well you need to listen to everything make up your mind what appeals to you the most and then select your genre In 1999 I took part in the DMC World Mixing DJ Championships and won in Bombay and was first runner up in India. I used to do a lot of turntablism and scratching at that time on break beats and mainly hip hop music. That's right, hip hop, one of the very favorite genres of mine which I used to play a lot in 1997-98. Starting with a BPM of about 80 and ranging to 110 BPM. Hip hop is just fantastic. According to me hip hop music is slightly more difficult to mix compared to the other genres of music because normally all the hip hop tracks which release have very few beats in the beginning. So my suggestion to you if you like hip hop music and that's what you want to mix just do a little bit of beat editing at home put a loop in front of there before you go to a party and mix it or you can use the live looping buttons on the CD player or another thing is use scratching to mix your beats just like this. confused no nope, it's not hip hop it's not drum and bass this particular genre of music became very very popular in the last 3 to 4 years thanks to a very very well renowned dj you must have heard of him skrillex this guy took this genre of music to the next level yes that's what i'm talking about this genre is called dubstep well the bpms for a dubstep track normally vary from about 138 bpm to about 142 to 143 bpm According to me and in my experience whenever I'm trying to work on dubstep or I'm even listening to it I find creating the beat the groove and the wobbles which are the most important part of dubstep very very difficult they make me use my VSTIs in a totally different way well there's a positive side to everything and the good thing about dubstep music is that producers and arrangers get something new to work on a new genre to work on in fact music directors like Amit Trivedi Sneha Khanwalkar are composing music for Hindi films specially based on the dubstep genre house music i think it's by far the most popular music played by dj's across the world it's got a 4x4 time signature and varies from a bpm of 122 to about 132 and the most important part about it it's easy to dance to house music is a very very broad genre in fact it's got a lot of other subgenres under it for example minimalistic progressive funky deep electro and so on and so forth in fact most of the remixes that i have done on my albums as well as for the films are all based on the house music genre well here's something you didn't know about house music it started somewhere in the year 1969 in chicago and when it came up first because it was involving a lot of beats and just sounds and very less vocals a lot of people said that it's just a passing phase and it's going to die out it's 2014 and house music is still killing it just like this